In this video, I'm just going to show the process of machining this backplate to match my new chuck. Over at the lathe, just taking a look at the existing chuck. This is the chuck that came with it. This is a six inch self centering chuck. And we'll take a look at the back plate. That's what's interesting to me here. Um, my lathe spindle, unfortunately, is a threaded spindle. Uh, and that means that the exact location of any chuck I put on here, anytime I put one on, is never perfect. Um, the cam lock style chucks are, you know, where they fit the chuck onto a taper are always much more accurate, but this is what I've got. Uh, what is good is that I do have this locking collar arrangement so that the lathe chucks don't unscrew when I reverse the spindle. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, the first thing I'm going to do on the new chuck is turn down the diameter of the boss to match this so that I don't have to make new clamps. Uh, then I will tap appropriate holes in the boss and then we'll get it mounted up here and turn the face to be true and turn the locating boss. All right. Here I'm just doing a cleanup cut on the back face of the back plate and then bringing the rear side boss to size. Just finding the back side surface. And now edge finding both sides of the back plate so that I can come in and drill and tap the locking collar holes in the rear boss. Center drilling the top hole. And now drilling through. My clumsy arm gets in the way. Now turned around and you can see the gauge pin in the previously drilled hole, helping me align the two vertically. and finally tapping the holes. It is vitally important to get these threads clean and these threads so that there is no chance of chips pushing um, the plate out of position when we machine it. Um, because if that happens then when I put it on the next time, actually on the chuck, things will not be, or very potentially not be square. So I'm gonna take a few moments to clean this. I'm gonna blow this all out with compressed air and I keep cheap paint brushes around just for this kind of task. No. Okay, so back plate is now mounted, um, securely locked in place. Got that all taken care of. So now it just remains to machine a boss back here. Um, for locating the chuck. Now I've measured the chuck using an internal micrometer and a depth gauge so I know the dimension of the bore. Um, I'm going to turn the ID of the boss smaller than the bore by I think 50 thou. 
um, because the whole point of this chuck is to be able to move it relative to the center line of the lathe and true it up. Um, 50 might be too much, so I may go 20 first and just see if that gets me enough adjustment. It may be, <clears throat> I can see a situation where having a bit more would be useful. Anyway, that's the next thing. So what I'm gonna do is start off with a clean up cut across here to get this surface concentric to the axis of the lathe. That may, that's gonna be useful when I set up to drill the mounting holes and uh, then machine away. And it's just a lot of cast iron to come off. Okay. Let's go. And now beginning the process of turning the front low casing cating boss on the back plate. This is just a long process of reducing the diameter down to 3.1 inches over the first 5 eighths of the chuck back plate. I was looking for 632 plus nothing minus 5, so I'll take that. It looks to me like 3.125. So nine tenths over what I was shooting for. I'm all right with that. I think that's more than enough slop for what I need to do. Now checking run out before taking the back plate off. I very carefully made sure not to disturb either the tool or the back plate during this stage of machining to achieve the best run out possible and um, looks to me like I'm under 5 tenths. Alright with that. Same again, this time checking run out of the face. I'm all right with that as well. Here I'm using a coaxial indicator to find the center point of the back plate in readiness for drilling the bolt hole pattern. Off we go.
This is now just a case of moving around the bolt pattern. First of all, center drilling for position, then changing over to the tapping drill, which is an 8.5 millimeter drill for an M10 by 1.5 hole, and then tapping the holes. And there it is. And that is how you make a back plate for a new chuck. So next stage is to actually get this trued up. This is a set true chuck. Uh, but I'm going to add that into the review segment for this new chuck, which is a separate video. So please go and take a look at that. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, do a dance, and uh, above all, be safe and well.